Hello everyone, meet me again. I'm Novira Kamila. In this video, I would like to explain about public speaking, but not in general. Uh, yeah, uh, today I want to explain about types of public speaking. Yeah, and I only mentioned three types of public speaking. Actually, there are a lot of types of public speaking, but I only mentioned three. The first is informative public speaking. The second is persuasive public speaking. And the third is ceremonial public speaking. And at the end of this video, I would like to give you an example uh, from one of three types of public speaking that I'd mentioned. Okay, so let's start with the first, informative public speaking. Informative public speaking is a speech that aims to convey information about a particular topic or issue to the audience. So the speaker must be able to convey information briefly and clearly to make it clear for the audience. And the second is persuasive public speaking. For persuasive public speaking, this is uh, one of method how we persuade the audience or change the audience's opinion. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to persuade the audience, yeah, please make sure to show your enthusiasm in your speech. And the third is uh, ceremonial public speaking. For ceremonial public speaking. Yeah, this is a speech done it in ceremonial or occasional, like at weddings, graduation, celebration, etc. And for this type, yeah, we can be used in formal and informal situation, depend on the ceremonial event. Okay, now let me give you an example from one of three types of public speaking that I'd mentioned before. So I want to give you an example for informative public speaking. And the topic is about intermittent fasting. In this point, sorry, in this topic, I would like to cover three points. The first is what is intermittent fasting. The second is types of intermittent fasting. And the last is benefit of intermittent fasting. Okay. So, uh, actually, uh, there are many different ways to lose weight. Yeah. And one strategy that has become popular in recent years is called intermittent fasting. So, what is intermittent fasting? Uh, actually, intermittent fasting is a method that uh, regulates diet by fasting, yeah, for a certain amount of time. And during this time, yeah, when we do fasting, yeah, uh, you are still allowed to drink. Uh, if we compare to other diets method that reduce and limit food consumption, uh, this method is about managing time and eating habits. And this method doesn't have rules about what foods are allowed or not to be consumed. Uh, instead, uh, intermittent fasting regulates when a person eats and when to stop. Uh, and this is why this method is also known as the fasting diet. And there are several types of intermittent fasting methods. And the most popular ones is, uh, uh, the first is fasting 16 hours a day. The second is fasting 14 hours a day. The third is fasting two days a week. And the last is it stop it. Okay, so for the first is method fasting 16 hours a day. Yeah, which is 16 hours of fasting and the remaining 8 hours of time to eat. For example, uh, we have meal times are 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. So we started our fasting uh, after 9 p.m. until the next 16 hours yeah followed by fasting and the second is 14 hours a day yeah fasting 14 hours a day actually this is the same uh like uh fasting 16 hours a day uh but uh difference is is uh the division of time where the time we do fasting is 14 hours and 10 hours for eating uh for the third method is fasting two days a week yeah uh this is a fasting method uh in which a person only eats 500 until 600 calories per day for two specific days yeah and for the remaining five days we are allowed to eat as usual okay for the last method is it stop it yeah why uh this method called it stopped it yeah because we are doing fasting that lasts for 24 hours on several days per week yeah uh, when a person stop eating their meals after breakfast yeah then 
they will eat again at breakfast in the next day okay so for the last point yeah uh, about benefit of intermittent fasting yeah uh, intermittent fasting has benefit for our body it can help us to modify risk for health condition like uh, reducing the risk of diabetes uh, and help to control the biological time and prevent metabolic disorders and lowers the risk of heart disease by helping control blood pressure cholesterol levels and heart rate and uh, it can help us to slow down the aging process yeah uh, and control blood sugar levels uh, yeah it can also relieve inflammation improve our brain function and memory and improve the body's response to stress and damage for the better yeah i think that's all from me yeah uh, actually all methods of intermittent fasting can be effective but uh, figuring out which one works yeah best in our body it depends on the individual so if you want to do intermittent fasting please make sure uh, you know your body first yeah if you cannot do that please do not force yourself to doing intermittent fasting yeah and that's all from me yeah i hope this information will give you a new information or a new knowledge yeah thank you